with socks. You may need a strap, belt, or towel for the relaxation routine. The relaxation routine is practiced on the floor. If you don't have carpeting, you might want to use an exercise mat. If you have any physical injuries, especially back or neck problems, please consult your physician before beginning this or any other exercise routine and watch the entire program through once before beginning. Oh, hey, come on in. After you started using my first video, the unworkout, a lot of you asked me what to do when you don't have a whole hour to exercise. So here I am, still maintaining that effective exercise doesn't have to be a brutal experience. And I have come up with two 20-minute exercise routines, both of which are designed to strengthen the body and quiet the mind. The first is a stand-up series to wake you up and focus your mental energy so you can make the most of your day. The second routine is a floor series designed to be used in the evening or any time when you need to unwind and take the kinks out. And then finally, we'll take 10 minutes to practice a soothing and healing exercise for the mind. Some of these stretches may look easy, but believe you me, they have kept yoga masters busy for centuries and me busy for, well, not quite centuries. <laughs> Don't get discouraged if you can't do exactly what I'm doing right away. I never thought I'd be able to get some of the postures you'll see in this program, but gentle, steady repetition really can work wonders. So be patient with yourself and keep practicing, and they'll get easier and you'll get better. My grandmother always used to say, the dropping of water wears away stone. This is not the latest fad. These are exercises to last a lifetime. Enjoy the beauty of the movements. And don't be afraid to feel beautiful while you're doing them. you're awake just because your eyes are open. I mean, let's wake up from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and everything in between. First, let's get some fresh oxygen moving through your bloodstream. As you follow me through these movements, keep that image in mind. Life-giving oxygen, riding on the breath, reviving and replenishing every cell in your body. The yogis say the mind is master of the senses. The breath is master of the mind. And the way, if you do this right, you might just get a little dewy as we go along. Let's center ourselves. Stand with your feet hip distance apart, arms relaxed by your sides, eyes resting on a point in front of you. Imagine sending roots down from the soles of your feet and at the same time feel the tips of your ears and the top of your head lengthen upward toward the sky. Make a tiny figure eight with your nose till you feel your head easily balancing on top of your neck. Now rock forward toward your toes, then backward toward your heels. Now rock over to the right edges of your feet and over to the left edges and back to the center. Take a deep breath in and out. We'll begin with three ancient flowing exercises called silken movements. That's really what they're called. I don't do them all that well yet, but I love them so much, I have to share them with you. So here we go. Bend your knees, inhale through your nose, and float your arms up and out, slowly straightening your knees. Lace your fingers together and press your palms up toward the sky while your feet press deeper into the ground. Slowly exhale, 
Arms come down, wrists first, fingertips pointing out. Again, inhale, making a wide arc with your arms, feet pressing down, palms pressed way up. And exhale, arms fully extended, leading with your wrists, fingertips flexed back. You can see why this pose is called holding up the heavens. And exhale. Inhale up to the sky. And as you exhale, resist the impulse to let your chest and shoulders collapse as you see me doing here is not the best. Inhale. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart, parallel to one another. Soften your knees and straighten them as you inhale, arms reaching out to the side and back, palms down, looking back to your right hand. Exhale, release your arms, soften your knees again. Inhale, knees straighten, reach for the opposite walls, look back at your left hand. Exhale, arms down, knees bending. And inhale, looking back toward your right hand again. Stretch your fingertips. Exhale, release. Inhale. relieve the tension and stiffness in my troublesome whiplash neck. Exhale. Inhale. Wall to wall. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Feeling the stretch all across your chest. Exhale all the way out. Ah, oh, good. Bend your knees slightly. Tuck your tailbone under. Inhale and pretend you're drawing a taut bowstring with your left hand away from your right palm. Look toward your right fingertips and flex them back. Exhale, releasing your arms, facing forward. Now to the other side. Inhale, reach your left palm and your right elbow away from each other. Fingertips flexed. Exhale, arms releasing. Again, inhale to your right. Drawing the string to its maximum extension. Feel the resistance. And exhale, knees still bent. Inhale, looking left, fingertips flexed. That's what makes it effective. And exhale, releasing. Inhale, again to the right. Keep the string taut. Mm. And exhale all the way out. Inhale to the left. Don't forget to let yourself feel beautiful. And exhale. This is my favorite of the silken movements. Inhale to the right. Exhale. Don't collapse when you exhale. Inhale to the left. And exhale. Oh, 
I'm glowing. How about you? All right. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Turn your left palm open. Inhale, raise your left arm way up toward the ceiling, and as you exhale, stretch it up and over, arching to your right. Slide your right hand down your leg for support. Let your head be neutral, neck relaxed. Keep breathing smoothly and deeply. Plant your feet. Feel the energy humming from your left foot all the way up your left side and out your fingertips. One smooth arc of energy. Breathing in and out. And inhale up. Now put your left hand on your left thigh and turn your right palm open. Inhale, raise your right arm up, stretch way up to the ceiling and arch up and to the left as you exhale, keeping your breath steady. Strong legs, right fingertips reaching away from your right foot. Make space inside your body as you breathe. Keep your head neutral. Your neck relaxed. Neck relaxed. Thank you. Try to keep your right shoulder back, not forward. You're going to have a tiny little waistline if you keep this up. And the more you do it, the deeper you'll be able to sink into the pose. And after a while, you're going to enjoy it like I do. I promise. And inhale up. Mm. All right. Spread your feet a little wider apart. Now swivel your right foot 90 degrees to the right. Left foot slightly pigeon-toed, turn so both hips face the right wall. Inhale. Raise your arms overhead. Exhale, lacing all your fingers together, pointing your index finger up. Inhale, stretch way up, and as you exhale, bend your right knee and adjust your right foot if you need to so your knee is directly over your ankle and your thigh is parallel to the floor or as close as you can get to that. Breathing smoothly and deeply, eyes steady on a point in front of you. Strengthen that back leg, tuck your tailbone under, taking the arch out of your lower back. Inhale, making space in your body. Exhale, reaching up. This pose will really tone up your arms and thighs. Yes, warrior pose will make you strong like bull. Now when you've stood it long enough, take a deep breath in, sink a little lower, and as you exhale, press your knee up, come back to the center. Keep your arms up. Take a full breath in and out. Swivel your left foot to the left, turn your right foot slightly pigeon-toed, both hips facing the left wall this time. Inhale, stretching way up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, sink down, bending your left knee till your thigh is parallel to the floor, knee directly over your ankle. Breathing, eyes steady on one spot. Keep that back leg strong, tailbone under. Let your breath make space in your body. Let it keep you lifted. Feel the power and dignity of this pose, this warrior pose. Take a full breath in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. And inhale up. Don't let your arms down. Hard to believe that just holding your arms over your head could feel so athletic, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Feet a little closer together, swivel to your right. Shift your weight forward onto your right foot, back toes touching the floor for balance. Focus your eyes on one point and slowly lift your back leg up till your body begins to pivot forward. Now if you start to lose your balance, just hold it here. That's great. The goal is eventually to bring your whole body parallel to the floor. You can imagine you're a stiff board. Press your arms in against your ears. I started holding on to the bedpost. I know it's hard, but keep trying. Inhale and...
and exhale up. Keep your arms up. Okay. This is my weak side. So if I plunge to my death, don't mind me. You just keep going. Weight forward on your left foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pivot forward by lifting your leg up as far as you can, keeping your body straight like a balancing shtick. <laughs> oh. It's really good for maintaining our sense of balance. So just do the best you can and don't give up trying. Eyes on one point, lengthen the back of your neck, and inhale. Now, for a variation on the same theme, swivel to the right. Inhale, stretching way up. And as you exhale, fold out and over your right leg. You bend your right knee if you need to. Keep your left heel on the floor, fingertips or palms on the floor on either side of your right foot. Round your back and try to touch your forehead to your knee or come as close as you can. Keep your eyes open, but don't try to look at me now. I'll tell you when to get up. Just keep breathing. That strangling feeling in your throat means you're stimulating your thyroid gland. You're also stimulating your liver and your kidneys. And this pose surely does something for the legs now, doesn't it? <laughs> keep breathing. Now raise your head. Slide your left foot way back behind you with your heel off the floor and come into a deep lunge right knee directly over your ankle. Hmm. Oh, how nice. As you breathe in, always think of making space in your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Slide your left foot up. Swivel to the center and hang there for a moment. And breathe. Let your body hang loose. Breathe. Now swivel to the left. Bring your right foot slightly pigeon-toed so both hips face the left wall. Rest your fingertips or your palms on the floor. Bend your left knee if you need to and round your spine. Try to touch your forehead to your knee or as close as you can get. Eyes stay open, breathing evenly and deeply. Don't try to watch me. Just keep breathing. Now you can release your head. Slowly slide your right leg back, heel up, left knee directly over your ankle. Front knee, back heel, stretching, stretching apart. Sink down into this pose and keep breathing. Inhale. And as you exhale all the way out, bring your back foot into its original position. Put your palms together. Strengthen your legs. And inhale up to standing. Swivel back to the middle and slowly, without desperation, release your arms from their misery. Oh, good. Now, with your feet still wide apart, Place your hands on your hips. Inhale. Lift your chest and chin up toward the ceiling. And exhale forward and out. Knees soften. Arms in here dangle down. Reach your left hand over and take hold of your right ankle. 
inhale and stretch your right hand up toward the ceiling. Exhale and slowly turn your body so you can look up toward your hand. Breathe deeply. Inhale. Feel your chest expand. Exhale, feel your body soften. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down. Mm. Now, reach your right hand over. Take hold of your left ankle. Inhale, stretching your left hand up toward the ceiling. Exhale as you turn slowly to try to see your extended hand. Reach up toward the promise of a wonderful day ahead. As you inhale, feel your chest expand. As you exhale, release a little more into the twist. Reach up toward all good things to come. And exhale down. Hang forward for a moment. Now bend your knees and begin to curl back up to standing. Bring your pelvis forward. Let your arms and head stay loose and heavy. And let your body roll up vertebra by vertebra. Until your head balances easily on top. Good morning. I want you to imagine a well of healing, energizing, golden light. A fountain of youth under your feet. Hands in front of you, palms turned upward. Bend your knees slightly and inhale, slowly straightening your knees as you use your hands to draw this imaginary light all the way up into you and through you. And as you exhale, let it shower like a fountain over you and around you, bringing your arms down and softening your knees. Again, inhale. Legs, hips, chest, head filling with light. Exhale, letting it shower around you and bathe you in light. Inhale. If you picture it, you will feel it. And as you exhale, bathe yourself in light. Inhale, breathing in radiant, healing light. Exhale, and feel yourself shine. Let your arms just hang for a minute. Steady your eyes on a point in front of you. Let your body become very still. Become aware of your heartbeat. Feel your breath flowing in and out. Feel how alive you are. And what a miracle your body is. Take a deep breath in. Stretch your arms open wide. And then give yourself a big hug. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope I see you later. <laughs>